And you just mentioned something about not being afraid to fail. So how does one or how does a business leverage failure? So you've noticed that I've mentioned the word failure a couple times. Yeah. And I'm, I know you're going to ask me about my upcoming book. So I'm just going to go ahead and, or my recent book, I'm going to go ahead and, and mention a little bit about that. So the book is The Other F Word, How Smart Leaders, Teams, and Entrepreneurs Put Failure to Work. And I wrote it with my uh, co-author and my colleague here at Berkeley, John Danner. And in that book, we investigate how to leverage failure as a resource as opposed to something that you want to sweep under the rug. And going back to what we were talking about earlier, here in Silicon Valley in the San Francisco Bay Area, it's been okay to fail for a while as long as you learn from those failures. Uh, I was just with a leading venture capitalist yesterday, and we were talking about that, and he said, you know, I would much rather invest in a team that has failed once and has learned some insights from that failure, and they want to put it to work in a new venture that benefits from those learnings. I'd rather invest in them the second time around than in the first time around, so they look for that. And it was those insights from being here in Silicon Valley about leveraging failure, about the fact that every failure does indeed have a lesson inside of it, if you're willing to look for it, that then gave rise to the book that we wrote and the broader lessons that we look to extract from failure and share around the world. 